Hey y'all, welcome back to Squeamy Kitchen. I've been gone for a minute, but I'm back. Hey, so tonight we're gonna be doing a seafood boil for New Year's. Um, this is my special guest. Her name is Alexis. I actually work with her guys, but she is a chef. And this is why I haven't been back with Queenie's Kitchen, y'all, because I moved, bought a new house, and I started working again. So I'm trying to get back into the groove of doing Queenie's Kitchen on my days off. So we have some fresh garlic, some onions that she has already chopped up. She has already measured out her seasonings for the sauce. We have some Kerrygold butter. It is garlic and herb butter at that, y'all. We have garlic and herb Obey seasoning, some Mrs. Dash hot and spicy, some regular Obey seasoning, some garlic powder, some juicy crab special seasoning and some lemon pepper. And we also have lemons over here, all chopped up right there. So now in the pots over here, we already have, we already cleaned the crab legs. So we're about to put them on the stove. We got the crab legs and the sausage in here. We have the shrimp over here in the bowl. And we got the corn and the potatoes back there on the stove. So, we'll get back with y'all as soon as we start doing the sauce. Okay, y'all, so we back. So now she is about to start doing the sauce. We got the potatoes and the um, eggs. Eggs and the corn on over there. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna start off with one stick of the Kerrygold garlic and herb butter, only because we're gonna melt this down. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook the onions first and let those soften up and get a little golden. So these are some beautiful pans. And so just for future references for pans like this, you do not want to use any metal utensils because it will scratch the bottom of the pan and damage it. So wooden or rubber is preferred. Yes, and y'all might see her in a lot of my videos because she is a chef. So some stuff she'll be over here helping me do because I'm on a new special little diet. So because I was hospitalized um, because I had Meckles Cave. And that's like fluid on the brain and that comes for hypertension. So my blood pressure was up. So I have to learn how to start eating right. So she gonna get me there. Yes, and just because you have to eat a little healthier does not mean it has to be nasty and bland. You can use a lot of things that does not require salt or to use a salt substitute. It can be um, Himalayan pink salt, which is something that I do highly recommend because it is very lighter, has a lighter flavor, and you don't need too much of it to taste your actual food. So we're just gonna let that melt down. All right, perfect. Very handy. <laughs> <laughs> all right so we'll be coming back to you guys in just a moment we're just gonna let this melt down okay y'all so the onions is going in next we also got some chicken broth Okay, so the chicken broth, what we're going to do is, is like when we actually start cooking the actual seafood, we're going to use chicken broth instead of using all water, only because we like flavor around here, no bland land. My ancestors taught me better. <laughs> 
So we're just gonna let this simmer and cook just a little bit. And we bought three sticks of this butter because it's a sauce at the end of the day. So, but we're only gonna use one right now to cook and apply the seasonings and let them you know, morph together. So we'll be back once that finished browning y'all. All right, so we're back. It's simmering and bubbling here, which is very nice and lovely. It's very fragrant. Um, they always say you can never have too much garlic. So we got the garlic butter. We have a garlic seasoning. Now we're just going to add the garlic in. Thing about it is you don't want to cook garlic too long because I minced it very small. So it will start to brown quicker than the onions. That's why you do onions first. And now that we got that in, it smells extravagant in here. So, yeah. And we're just going to let this go for another couple of minutes. Mind you, it only takes a couple of minutes to do this sauce really at the most, maybe 10. Just so that we can combine all the flavors, let everything brown um, a little bit or at least get a little translucent. But you can always, I chop one onion and I grab, I have a bag of um, garlic that's already peeled because we do cheat a little bit and I just used a handful of it but you can use as much as you like this will probably be enough for like four people because mind you it's just a sauce to dump the you know shrimp in and crab legs in and you can even just let it sit for a second Y'all, look at that. It smells so good in here. I'm still here, y'all. Queenie is still here. Miss Queenie taking a back burner today. <laughs> it's your girl, Lex. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to drop comments below what you would like to see me cook next. I'll be more than happy to oblige. Yes. Make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. Yes. Because she is going to be featured in a lot of my videos, y'all. She ain't going nowhere. nowhere. She just don't know it. She ain't going <laughs> nowhere. You said part-time job? <laughs> Absolutely. I remember in culinary school, I um, had a great chef. And I still talk to her to this day. And... She asked me, what is it that I could do, wake up and do every day if I didn't get paid to do it, and cooking was it, and I mm -hmm. love it. And that's so why we get along together, get along so good, yeah. because she like cooking, and I like cooking, but I like cooking the southern way, but she's more of in the professional field of cooking, so yeah. she knows how to make presentation look good. So, what we have here is one tablespoon of lemon pepper, two tablespoons of the juicy crab, one tablespoon of the onion powder. Um, I forgot what this is in the center. Double I think this garlic. is the garlic mm -hmm. old bay. We got parsley. We got the one tablespoon of hot and spicy, or one teaspoon actually, my bad. One tablespoon of lemon pepper and one tablespoon of regular old bay. And since it looks like this, looking really good, we're gonna go ahead and just add the seasonings in. And we're gonna just mix that around. You know, of course it's gonna be thick, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna add more butter. So it's gonna look like this. And you're like, dang girl, ain't no sauce in there, but that's fine. This is why we have more butter. Like Paulo Dean used to say, butter, butter, butter. <laughs> you can never have too much of that. And also, this is a really, really good butter, by the way. So it's a little expensive. It was like $3 for each stick, but hey, it is what it is. Oh, it smells so good already, y'all. We're going to go ahead and bust this second stick in. And we're just going to let this go. And then we're going to sit this sauce to the side. Until the actual crab is ready. 
which is not going to take long at all. If you want, you can actually consider this a 30 minute meal. So we're just going to let that go. And if you want to, um, you could just use regular butter. It doesn't have to be garlic butter, but that's just what I prefer. And at this point, as soon as the butter's finished melting, it's actually ready. Now, do you put some of this in there, too? Well, no, that goes into the actual seafood. Okay. So, we're going to cook it in chicken broth and a little bit of water. So, probably all chicken broth and, like, a cup of water just so it has flavor. And we're going to lightly season the seafood because we have this deliciousness right here. Okay. And we're just going to let that go. I like to lightly season my food due to the fact that I like a delicious sauce. So, And we do have lemons on the sides because if you're anything like me, you're going to dunk, squeeze a lemon and eat it. And I also have Old Bay hot sauce on the side because I like everything spicy. But I have to be considerate of those that do not like super spicy <laughs> like me. If I die one day, it's probably came from stomach ulcers from all the spicy foods that I ate. <laughs> Honestly, that'll be a good way to go. <laughs> All right, guys. So we'll be back in a moment once we're done here. So we're back now. And we just have the pot of sausage and crab legs. And what we're going to do is we're going to add um, the chicken broth to it. And we're just going to use it on up. Because essentially we're just... You know, steaming this, it's already practically done anyway. And probably don't even need any water. I know people like to submerge their crab oils. I do not. So, you see how much liquid is in there? It's like half of the pot full. And What we're gonna do is we're just gonna take this stick of butter. And also for the sauce, guys, I did add one, one more stick of butter in there. Um, only because I had a lot more onions than I expected, so it was kind of thick. So we're just gonna lay this here. Cause what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a lid on it and just let it come to a boil and it'll steam all the butter. And then we're gonna lightly season it with some Slap Your Mama. You know, but don't really slap your mama because that's disrespectful. <laughs> but if you do, that's between you and God. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're coming back with some garlic powder. Like I said, never too much garlic powder. And then we got the juicy. All right. The Juicy Crab Special going here. We're just going to do a little bit of that. You got your mask on. Where's your key? All right. Look at her being a good mama. And now, we're just going to let that go. <clears throat> and we'll be back when it's done. Hey, y'all. So, we're back. And the food is done. So, oh, Lord. The ice thing is <laughs> So these are her potatoes. She put her potatoes in a separate bowl. And this is the finished product. I'm gonna set it down and we gonna move the camera down in. That is the finished product. Okay. And here's the butter sauce. We just soak, I like to soak my eggs in it and I poke little holes in them so it collects the flavor. And you know, your girl gotta have the Old Bay hot sauce, you know, mm -hmm. and then most people drink regular drinky drinks. I'm drinking this. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> you know, and to keep the aesthetic, pink cup. So pink cup. So y'all, I want to thank y'all for tuning in to Queenie's Kitchen and watching my my girl Lex cook this seafood boil because she did her thing with her sauce. So thank y'all for watching Queenie's Kitchen. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, hit that post notification bell, and also don't forget to tell a friend and tell a friend to subscribe to Queenie's Kitchen. 
See you guys in the next video, and I'm out. Peace.